Oh my goodness. What's up, bud? What's up, my friend? You know, I was thinking uh, about something the other day. I was thinking, uh, how much would it suck to have a last name of Gracie and not be related? That would suck. Dude, imagine it's like every time you walk up to a chick or every time you're, you know, introduced or something, hey, this is, uh, this is, uh, Jason Gracie. Oh, oh my Gracie, God. Gracie, Gracie, wow, man, are you like a black belt? No, I'm not no, related. No, I'm, I'm the other Gracie. Oh, man, <laughs> that would suck. What's up, guys? This is Brian. Jesse. You're watching MMA the hard way in, in the, the car. car. Well, UFC's going back to England. Yep. And we get to see a long awaited uh, uh, Gufsusen, another fight of Gufsusen. You know, he got mm -hmm. so many fans mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. he fought uh, mm -hmm. John Jones. A lot of people think he won that fight, but it is what it is. I won here. Yep. And um, this is going to be the first. Time, the entire preliminary card is on Fight Pass. They're making yeah. the transition. Yep. You know, yep. no Fox Sports one. The thing is, as I understand, the reasoning behind it is the fact that you're going to be able to watch it live. Nice. Via Fight Pass. Nice. You know, a lot of people say, eh, you know, I don't know if I want to kick down for Fight Pass. I mean, I'm currently, because I was a UFC TV mm -hmm. subscriber, I've been having it complimentary, but it's about to, about to end. But you know, that being what it is, uh, you know, hey, we've got uh, fights on Fight Pass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think what we've seen on this prelim card is primarily, this is a submitter's... Oh, this is a grappling clinic. It's a I, grappling I, card. I, I, I a whole undercard saw this. Man, card. it's just all submission, submission finishes. Yeah. So, so some people we haven't heard of, some mm -hmm. people we have. And uh, how about you get us started with the first oh, fight there? First one is Louis Garneau versus Phil Harris. Uh, Gano, everyone knows him from, uh, you know, uh, the red, the, the green hair. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, his signature look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's got to win this one. Yeah. You know, he lost his debut mm -hmm. in the tough 14 mm -hmm. finale. Um, um, uh, Tim Elliott, mm -hmm. you know, Tim Elliott, that kid's man, scrappy he's as hell. Yep. He is. And, um, this fight was announced in early January. You know, he's had a decent amount of time mm -hmm. to prepare. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, he's, uh, He's six and three over overall. I think his ranking in the division is kind of further down there at like forty nine. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'd say he needs this win. He needs to win. Yeah, and um, the Phil Harris obviously is the guy from UK, so yep. he's going to get just you know the fans insane screaming. Yeah, yeah, and I think he also he's coming off a loss against Lineker at uh, Fight Night 30 last October. He got TKO. Yep. So, yeah, these guys are going to be hungry. They're both going to be very, very hungry. Yeah. Um, up next, we got Eagle Aruha versus Danny Mitchell. Mm, yeah, so uh, Igor, uh, Brazilian. Yep. Uh, going up against a, another Brit from mm -hmm. uh, Yorkshire. And uh, you know what I like? Um, uh, Danny's nickname is the Cheesecake Assassin. <laughs> Man, if that doesn't strike fear into the heart of your opponent, man, man, you give me cheesecake, I will assassinate that shit. You know when I, when I saw that too, I was like, like is this for real? <laughs> but hey, you know what? Hey. If it works, it works. Yeah, you, you know, know uh, Danny's actually dropping down from middleweight. I think he's ranking in middleweight was like two fourteen or something. But as a welterweight, he's ranked at one eighteen. Yeah, and so uh, yeah, he, he goes. Uh, he's he's a you know he's a he's a beast. He's a uh, you know one of the uh, if I'm mistaken, one of uh, Greg Jackson's guys, you know, so... Yeah, he lost his uh, debut against uh, Alcantara, yeah. you know, um, last October. Uh, it's a decision, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, here we go, you know, he's he's good. he's making the trek over to England, though, so he's got an opportunity to redeem himself. Yep, yep. Uh, up next is uh, Roland uh, DeLorme mm -hmm. versus uh, Davey Grant. Yeah, so... Gosh, Delorme, you know, you, uh, Canadian. Yep. Uh, also, uh, Tough 14, the guy that was on Tough 14. Um, in fact, he debuted at the finale, and uh, he actually is one of those guys that won his debut. Yep. He uh, submitted, uh, I think it was Rear Naked Choke, Josh Ferguson. 
And, um, and these, yeah. these guys, are the, both these guys are sub guys. They're, they're, they're just, yeah. they're sub guys. Like I said, preliminary card, all sub guys, you know, all finishers. Yeah, I, I, I you know what we didn't do is, is pick a winner. Mm -hmm. um, the first fight, I'm actually going to go with the local. I don't think that uh, Gardno is yep. going to uh, pull this one off. I, I, I got feeling Phil. that one too. Yep. I got feeling that one too. And uh, the second one, I'm actually uh, going for Igor. I think the Brazilian is going to pull up the off. Same the here upset. too. Same here too. So, and this next one, yeah. And then Delorme, uh, we didn't uh, pick versus uh, Davy. Mm -hmm. I actually pick uh, Davy over of this. I'm I going, just think I'm, he's I'm just the, his grappling is going to be better than Delorme's. I I got Delorme on this one. All right, there I we got, go. We got uh, a split. And then up uh, up next, Brad Scott versus uh, Claudio da Silva. That's going to be a good call. That's a good oh fight. My right gosh, there. you know the here's the thing. I think is this da Silva's. This is his debut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and people, if you don't, if you haven't figured out who this guy is, check him out. He hasn't lost a fight since his first fight back in 2007. He's he's, uh, he's just a he's beast. been picking up belts. He's got a belt collection. Yep. yep. Uh, every organization he fights in, he gets a belt, and um, he is a Brazilian killer. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's a beast, man. He is a freaking beast. Yeah. So the thing is, he's not ranked, but that's just due to I think some inactivity. Um, and um, but make no mistake, he's one of those guys that is going to be bringing Brad quite uh, a handle to yep. deal with, you know. I, and I actually have him on this one too as a winner. Yeah, I think I, I think he's going to freak everybody out, Claudia. Uh, up next, Luke Barnett versus uh, Matt Nielsen's. Oh yeah, so Barnett, you know, he did really good on. Uh, Ultimate Fighter, mm -hmm. uh, what was that, John Jones? John George Chelson, yep. Uh, but he was slaying dudes. Yeah, he was. You know? Um, so, you know, I think, uh, oh, yeah, so he's, the guy he's going up against, this is one of those where everybody, this whole card, this whole prelim card is submission-based. Yep. I think this is the fight that's going to, this guy might get. Uh, submission of the night? No, actually, I think he's going to KO. Oh. Uh, I, I see him uh, KOing. Uh, this, uh, the Swede. Uh huh. So what do you got on Matt? Well, basically he's uh, you know he's making his debut, but he's also a grappling champ. That's right. The guy's got three golds. Yep. The Fila uh, grappling uh, he's, tournament. He's a uh, he's the 10, 11, and twelve, and 12. Yep. gold medal. Yep. So this guy is a legitimate like threat on the ground. Like I said, all sub guys. That's Here's it. the thing: is I think that Barnett's footwork and his hands. Are going to counter it. Yeah, this guy's going to come in, and Barnett's going to land a knee or something like that, mm -hmm. and the dude's just going to be slayed. Well, you know, keep in mind that Lucas he's well rounded. He is yeah. well rounded. I think he's going to expect to take down, and he's just going to be. You know what? I'm going to be one of those guys that's going to keep on the feet. Yeah, just click it. Uh, up next is uh, Cyril Debate versus Alir Latifi. Yeah, uh, this one you've got the most. Uh, uh, the largest uh, wingspan mm -hmm. <laughs> difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, Surreal is going to be towering over yeah. uh, Latifi. When I saw the, uh, the height, I was like, whoa, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. And I think that uh, some of the competition he's I mean, the guys fought, uh, they've both fought, uh, haven't they both fought Masasi? Well, um, or have they both? Jabati's uh, 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 lost to both uh, Musasi and, and Minowa. Uh, Actually, uh, Gustafsson and Jimmy Manoa, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's that's really interesting. You know, they're all on the same card. Yeah. But uh, Cyril's been everywhere. He's yeah. fought in Pride. He's fought in, uh, you know, Cage I, Rage. I give him, everyone. You know, Latifi. Hey, you know, he he came in there as an injury replacement against Masasi. Yep. Debuted with Masasi. Mm -hmm. You know, he was one of the unlucky guys. Yeah. Nobody was going to win that fight. Yeah, I, yeah. Exactly. And so they're giving him another yeah. chance. You know, over there in Europe. But unfortunately, I think Diabati's gonna. His experience is what's going to uh, persevere. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Latifi's supposed to be a stud, a, a, a Swedish stud, but I think that we still we have yet, yeah we we've, we've yet to see it. But you know, surreal. I mean, Diabati's been everywhere. I mean, come on, he fought Shogun in Pride in the, in the you know yeah. one of the uh, Grand Prix. So you know, he's he's a veteran you got, of sport. You got Diabati too. I had Diabati too on this one. All right. Well, it should be a pretty good prelim. Uh, because it's bypassed, you can watch it on demand. Whenever you want. 
So it should be good. Remember, check us out on MMA the Hard Way. Please comment and share this with your friends. Some feedback. And uh, there should be more Subfighter Tournament videos coming out. Uh, kicking out a few every couple days now. So uh, thanks a lot. See you next time. Take care, my friends.